Yeah, a loss like we had at Stevens Point, it's very difficult to uh, process, especially in the moment where you have the game won, you feel that way, uh, and then really you could feel it slipping. It was one of those things where you, you saw it coming, but, but you couldn't do anything about it. So that was challenging, and it is about how do we not let this affect us long term in a negative way. Uh, what we talked about with our team uh, immediately after the game and, and the days since then is about really focusing on, it sounds so cliche and it is, but the process of each day. What, do, what are we doing today to give ourselves the best opportunity to be successful tomorrow. And if tomorrow is a practice, then it's a practice. If it's a game, it's a game. But how do we make sure we do the best we can in the one day that we know we've got today uh, to be better for tomorrow? And that's really our focus. And so uh, last week against Stevens Point, we, we failed that test, uh, simply put. But that doesn't mean we fail anymore going forward, right? It's just about what do we take from that uh, that can help us improve and be more prepared for the next day. And so today we're focusing on practice and, and tomorrow we'll focus on whoever we get the chance to play. And that's kind of how we've tried to approach it. And, and, and our teams responded pretty well. It, it was tough, but ultimately uh, they know it's more uh, about the, the macro than the micro of each individual game. And so hopefully we can find a way though, certainly to, to win some games going forward. Yeah, it's it's certainly a, a bizarre year. You you don't know if each game is going to be scheduled as played or not. But uh, as it stands, lacrosse at home and Whitewater on the road, it, it's just another challenge. Uh, with lacrosse, I, I hope we're able to uh, focus for a full 40 minutes defensively. They run a lot of different things on offense. They they run a lot of stuff and they run it really well. So we really have to be communicative uh, and and dialed in on defense. If not, they're a team that you look up and all of a sudden they have a three. They have a layup. Like you really have to be engaged. They don't really give you an opportunity to slack off. So that's what we need to do there. Uh, in terms of traveling to Whitewater, I mean, a big you know, interior team that plays incredible defense. Uh, on that side, uh, we, we really have to take care of the ball. Um, we really have to stick to our game plan of what looks can we get, because we're going to have to run things a little differently than we do uh, against some other teams. So again, it's about execution on the offensive side of the ball uh, against Whitewater. And they're obviously one of the best teams in the country. So uh, again, trying not to focus so much on how do we beat Whitewater? But it's really like, okay, how do we take care of each possession? What can we do to maximize our chances of success? And that's really what I'm hoping to see uh, on both sides of the ball in both these games this week.